Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to find out if you actually have earwax inside of your ear canals. Coming up. Impacted earwax inside of your ear canals can give you a variety of different symptoms, anything from having plugged ears to an actual hearing loss to itching ears and even physical ear pain. But you might be surprised to realize that earwax is only one of the things that can cause all of these symptoms. You would not believe how many times that people call up my clinic and schedule an appointment for earwax removal only to come into the clinic and have us find out that they have no earwax inside of their ears whatsoever. In in fact, I have even received negative one-star reviews on my Google listing for my clinic from patients who felt ripped off because they scheduled an earwax removal appointment only to come in and find out that they have no earwax. I mean, what is this world coming to? That's why I think it's extremely important for you to be able to identify if you actually have earwax before you schedule professional earwax removal from an audiologist or before you attempt to remove earwax on yourself. Of course, the only way to actually identify if you have earwax inside of your own ear canals is to see it for yourself. And one of the best ways to do this is to purchase a low-cost video otoscope like the EarView MD. But before I get into my review of the EarView MD, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I release multiple new videos every single week week. With that out of the way, I really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and check out the EarView MD to see how good this actually works to see if you have earwax. Now a little disclaimer here before I get started so you can't sue me. While I do recommend actually looking inside of your own ears, I never recommend that you stick something inside of your ear canals to try to remove wax on yourself. If you're going to try to remove wax on yourself, I'm totally cool with it. Just make sure that you're using something like an eardrop softener for that wax and then irrigate it out of your ears. As long as you do not have a perforation in your eardrum, you will probably be okay doing it that way. Otherwise, I recommend going to a licensed audiologist who can professionally remove your earwax so they can do it safely without causing permanent hearing loss. As far as ear cameras go, there are a lot of them that you can buy online and a lot of them are complete garbage. One of the reasons that I actually like the EarView MD from Eosera is because Eosera is actually a reputable company. They are made here in the United States in Fort Worth, Texas. They are completely wireless, so you do not have to have them plugged in. They're relatively cheap, and you can find them on Amazon really easily. That being said, I will have a link of the EarView MD in the description of this video if you want to check one out for yourself. I think I spent 20 bucks to get this one. And just beware, there are counterfeit products out there. So any product that's a good product, you will find counterfeits. All of those counterfeits are garbage. So just make sure that you get the name brand Eosera EarView MD. All right, let's see what you actually get inside of the EarView MD box. Of course, you get your camera that you'll use inside of your ear. They come with a warranty card. So this warranty card, you can actually register your device to get a one year warranty on it. They come with a user manual, which is extremely important. I can't tell you how many of these types of products that I've purchased, they do not come with the user manual. So it is a very confusing how to set them up. This user manual is very straightforward and super simple to follow and get your device set up. You have a micro USB cable that you will use to charge your device. You have a microfiber cloth that you can use to clean the lens. You do not want to scratch the lens, so that is very important. You get a couple of different sizes of ear tips. So they have a pediatric ear tip. I don't really recommend that you stick things inside of baby's ears. So maybe if you have a small ear canal as an adult, you can go ahead and use the pediatric tip. They also do have an adult size tip for you as well. And then they do have these two earwax removal scoops that you can put onto the end of the ear camera. Again, like I said before, I never recommend sticking anything inside of your ears to clean out earwax. If you're gonna clean out your own ears, do earwax softeners and do irrigation. Do not stick a tool inside of your ear canal. If you do happen to stick a tool inside of your ear canal and actually hurt your ears, after the pain subsides and after you go through a surgical procedure, 
procedure to try to save your hearing. Imagine me saying, I told you so. The EarView MD is compatible with Android devices and Apple devices. So you do not need any kind of special adapter to plug in to your actual phone. Because again, remember, this is a wireless device. To set up the EarView MD, you first have to actually plug it in and charge it. It does not come with much of a charge. So use the micro USB to USB charging cable, give it a good charge. And while that's charging, you can go ahead and take out the user manual and you can scan the QR code here to download the app. Now you don't need the QR code to download the app. You can go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and you can type in EOSERA because the name of the app is actually EOSERA. To connect the EarView MD, you are not going to use Bluetooth. I know that you're probably thinking that this is a Bluetooth compatible device. It is not Bluetooth compatible. What it is, is Wi-Fi compatible. So you're actually going to disconnect from your current Wi-Fi and you are going to connect to the Wi-Fi of the EarView MD. The EOSERA app will let you see through the camera and let you toggle between wide lens or a focus lens. Unfortunately, this does not actually give you a wider field of view. It just makes the image larger when you use wide lens and smaller when you use focus lens. You can toggle between left ear or right ear and you can even take a photo or do a screen recording. Once you get everything set up in the app, you can go ahead and remove the lid to turn on the EarView MD ear camera. And then you can take this little adapter and put it right on the tip. So this kind of gives you an idea of what that will look like. That is the light with the camera on the end there. And then you can go ahead and stick it just into the opening of your ear canal. You do not want to push this all the way down inside of your ear canal. This portion right here, I measured it, it's approximately 29 millimeters, and that is long enough for you to actually touch your eardrum with this. So again, do not stick it deep inside of your ear canal, only stick it as far as to get this tip right in the opening of your ear. I do love that the tip of this is actually thinner. A lot of the different ear cameras that I've seen online have a much thicker end, which is really hard to get it into your ear canal if you have a really small ear canal. The camera on this thing actually has pretty good resolution. It is almost as good as what you would find with a professional video otoscope inside of an audiology clinic. That being said, it does not have the quickest resolution. So when you're actually looking inside of your ear, you do have to go kind of slow because the upload to your phone is, well, rather slow. Here is a side-by-side -side view of the video resolution between the EarView MD on your left and a professional video otoscope on your right. While the professional otoscope is better, the EarView MD does get the job done. Another really interesting feature on this EarView MD is that no matter how you hold it, it still keeps the, what you're seeing in the proper orientation. So you're not gonna be accidentally looking inside of your ear canal upside down. It was something that kind of caught me off guard when I was first trying to learn how to use it, but it is a really impressive feature and I applaud EOSERA for thinking of it. So let's talk about what you should actually be looking for when you stick this inside of your ear. If you see something like this, that is your eardrum. It will look translucent and it will have something right here that is called the handle of the malleus. Now, if you see something more like this, that is earwax. Typically, the darker the color, the longer it has been in your ear canal and the harder it will be to remove. That being said, if you are having symptoms that makes you feel like you have earwax inside of your ear canals and you look inside of your ears and there is no earwax, all you see is a normal ear canal with a normal eardrum, then you should be contacting an audiologist right away to have them do some additional testing on you because those symptoms are being caused by something. For instance, it could be a negative middle ear pressure caused by eustachian tube dysfunction. It could be a hole in your eardrum. It could be a cholesteatoma that is growing inside of your middle ear space. It could even be a tumor that is growing on your auditory nerve that requires surgery. Overall, using an ear camera like the EarView MD is a terrific way to identify if you actually have earwax inside of your ear canals. And if you do, you can go ahead and get that earwax professionally removed or you can attempt to remove it yourself using irrigation. So if you think that you have earwax inside of your ear canals but you're not 100% sure, getting an ear camera like the EarView MD could be a terrific place to start.
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.